some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tucson, Arizona with the gold-toothed loser Joey Surreal Camera as he attempts to audit the local health department only to find himself in a set of new bracelets. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Just take the lead here real quick. If there is one thing you can count on about Joey, it's that he loves to stick his nose in places where it doesn't belong. I mean, he's been kicked out of numerous places, including other health departments, and he still doesn't seem to understand what HIPAA is all about. He still thinks that, well, uh, HIPAA doesn't apply to me. Well, dude, uh, it will apply to you once... Uh, you find out that your records uh, are floating around on the internet because some moron like you decided to go in there and uh, go into places where you're not supposed to be and film everything in sight like a complete and total jack wagon. Oh, I, I friend, my friend needs help. Okay, I'm going to ask you to put your camera away because this is a private space you can't film in. Oh, yeah? Is this a... Uh, this is uh, a public health department? Public health department, yes. Okay, cool. What's your name? Please read the sign. What's your name? Please read the sign. And put the What's your name? Away. Hello? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look inside the mind of a frauder right now. Uh, yeah, this sign doesn't apply to me for this particular reason. Because uh, the onus is on them to protect the rights of the uh, individuals in this place. I mean, it's not my fault if my... Uh, if my camera picks up the uh, sense of information. And besides, there's no statute on there, so therefore, this is not a lawful sign. And even if it were a lawful sign, it still goes against the Constitution somehow. Yeah, that would probably be uh, about what Joey's thinking right now. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ask them to stop filming in our they don't want people filming in here. I don't care what they want. This is a public building. It doesn't matter. If are we are we going for round two? It doesn't matter if it's public or not. They don't want people filming. It does matter. Then take it up with their legal department. No. See that sign? Yeah. That's a policy. That doesn't trump my constitutional right to record. Take it up with their legal department. I'm, I'm coming over here to conduct business, and I have a right to record here. No, you don't. No, you don't sir. Yes, I do. Okay. Take it up with their legal department. I'm not. As far as I've been informed, you don't. I'm working on a story on all the health departments here, and it doesn't and matter. It doesn't matter to me. No. I'm an independent journalist. I don't come to interact with anybody. Uh, what's your name again? It's none of your business. All right. So. I don't want. I don't want to. Just get away from me then. If it's none of my business. Then you're not my business, right? I don't want anybody filming. I don't care what they want. So if you don't, I have a right stop. to record. This is a constitutional protected activity. It is. Yes. It, okay. It is it. Go look at your little Google on your phone and look that up. Yeah. As far as my instructions are, is it is. It doesn't matter. Listen, if I. Have, if you have my a problem, friend, take it up with their legal department. Listen, I don't have a problem. Listen, I'm not going to do that. My friend came to conduct business here, 
and we have a right to document everything with the government. This is a public area. This is a public building that the people pay for. Tax dollars. Yeah. All right. They have a right to run it how they I want. I want to disengage. This in, this, I want to disengage right now. Then I need to ask you to leave. Well, you can ask. If you don't leave, we have to call the police because you've been trespassing. Well, then you get through here. So I'm sorry. I can talk to her. Can I talk to you real cordial? I don't know how many times it's happened to him. I could care less. One trespass, two trespasses, 5,000 trespasses, and Joey still doesn't seem to get that you can be asked to leave a public building, and if you don't, you end up getting trespassed, and then the police come to remove you. I mean, it's that simple. But we're talking about a true simpleton here. Wait, before this escalates any any worse. Well, you're, you're the one escalating. So no, no, no. We've asked you to stop. Oh, we have to asked you to stop. It would have been if you're not going to stop, then we will call the police and they will remove you from the building. Can I speak for a second? Turn off your camera. No. Can I this? Can I speak for a second? It's not a discussion. What is your name? You cannot film this building. You know we have a First Amendment right to record. You do not have a First Amendment right. Smith versus Cummings. There's there's case law on that. I I just want to have a I want to have a court. You want to have a cordial conversation with me, ma'am? The policy that they have in place. The policy doesn't trump the law. Then take it up with their legal department. I don't need I don't need to waste my time with that. I don't. The law. I know what I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to do that. I came to conduct real quick business here with my friend, and that's it. No, you didn't. Yeah, uh, Joey, could you please uh, give us a citation on uh, what court ruling that you're referencing that gives you the right to film inside of a health department uh, free range and everything like that? I mean, I would love to see it. I um, mean, is it Smith versus Cummings? Because I know that's not it, because that's has everything to do with uh, filming the police. Not inside a health department, you damn idiot. But speaking of the police, let's just go ahead and skip to when they show up. 15 minutes later. Ag agitating a situation. I'm not trying to agitate. agitate. So I will speak with you outside and I'm fully appeasing you. You can keep recording, you keep doing your thing. I want to record you guys, you, you educating him. Okay. That's all let's I want to do. Let's outside and we'll have our conversation. Okay. Why would you want? Why, why would you want to? Uh, listen, I. Okay. Clearly, you don't. Listen, no. because the directives. Okay. This is question? a public building. What's your question? Okay. Are you going to tell me to step away from a sidewalk? It's the same thing. We own this building. I have the right to sit there and wait for you, and I have the right to record there without even conducting any business. I can come inside this building in a public building. This is my First Amendment right. This is what I do for a living. I'm a journalist, and my people want to see the the, the, the people how actually the government officials that I'm working fine. on. So you, you, you gotta be careful with that because why am it's I careful? A medical facility. But it, but what okay. does it say behind you? So it's a medical facility. But what does it say behind you? What's your question? What does it say behind you? It's a medical facility, but it's a public building. What's your argument? What you wow, Joey, what a stupendous argument that you put together right there. That you think that you can do whatever you want in there because it says public health department and just ignore the HIPAA laws and everything like that? Uh, no, dude, uh... You're about to find out the hard way that's the most pathetic argument that you can have under your belt right there. So, dude, at least put a little bit more thought into your uh, argument and persuasion tactic. What you're trying to say is what I'm asking. No, so you're telling me to step outside. I want to catch so you guys. At, I want to catch you educating them on camera. No, dude, that's you don't want to look good? That's, that's not what I'm talking about, though, okay? You don't want to look if professional. You have business in the... In the Place, you can't be in there recording, man. And once again, so you can record from public spaces, yes. But if you don't have business here, so, and if they have, listen, with it being a medical facility, okay, right? People have right to privacy. There's no privacy in public. Okay. Once you step through that door, that's a public lobby. Unless they're asking you to leave. If you so, don't have business there, they can have you trespass. Even from hospitals? They, from, uh, you, listen, hospitals, would you agree hospitals are a public place? No, not all hospitals. Would you agree a, a, listen, would you agree a hospital lobby is a public place? Public health departments is. Would you agree a hospital lobby? What kind of hospital? 
a memorial Dan hospital? Dan it's Dan not Dan public. Dan Dan it's not public. See, there's a difference. So you, you want me to talk from sure. my experiences? Joey, uh, this dumbass reasoning can only get you so far in life before you hit a wall. And what you do after you hit that wall is what, is what matters. Do you create another argument to get you over that wall? Or do you keep banging your head on that wall until, well, your head breaks? Uh, in this case, Joey's head breaks and uh, he ends up with a shiny new pair of bracelets. So let's get to that part, shall we? You can't just trespass me from a sidewalk. So during an investigation, an officer asks you to provide your identification. It is required. No, do, you know, do you know which one? That's only if I committed a crime about or has. Do actually, you have reasonable suspicion? Actually, if you're detained. Do you have, for what crime though? Trespass. I'm investigating. Why am I trespass? For what crime? On a public area? I came to get service okay. with my friend? You're fine. Call supervisor. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. Nah, you ain't gonna violate my rights today, bro. On the threat of arrest, I'll give you my ID right now. This is the, the this is the problem. The the, this is the issue that we have in America. The disconnect that we have between law enforcement and the people. You guys, come on, man. So why didn't you ask me there? Why why now, all of a sudden? Why? Uh, why you no. get to dictate the order? Why? Which I no, do. but I don't understand. Why are you just trespassing me just for the hell of it? You haven't even spoke to them. Yes, I have. When did you speak to them? It's on camera. You didn't speak to them. We went straight outside, sir. Yeah. Joey, uh, I got a question for you. Uh, were you dropped on your head as a baby? Did you graduate high school? I mean, did you get any kind of education at all? I mean, it makes me wonder. You have no this idea is, what you're talking about. This the same about. issue that we usually have nah. with the auditors. Nah. Because you guys don't know... Everything? So does ours, and we don't we, we don't redact ours. Fine, you can dispute it. Okay, fine. Call supervisor. I'll give you my ID under threat of arrest. Same thing. I request him right. before you. I want to disengage this conversation, dude. Okay. That's it. I'm not walking away. I'm not walking away. Right. I'm detained, but I'm, are you going to arrest me if I don't? I'll give it to you right now. So we're gonna change your detention. You can keep recording. You're fine. Don't resist. I'm not resisting. All right. You are still allowed to be detained. Am I under arrest? You're detained. You can keep asking the same question over and over again. You can. You can hold this phone if you'd like. I'm not going to jail yet. Nope, you're just detained. This way, because I need to place you in the back of my car while I make a phone call. You hear my phone ringing? So I'm not going to do that while you're out walking around. Well, uh, Joey here is cuffed and detained and put in the back of a squad car for refusing to identify because he was trespassed. And, uh, well, Joey, uh, what's so hard about showing a piece of plastic to somebody? I mean, it's your government-issued ID. It's not exactly a Fourth Amendment violation, you dipshit moron. Hi there, Sergeant Dial. I heard you requested a supervisor. Yeah. Okay. We'll I'm, a, I'm unlawfully detained. What's that? I, I'm unlawfully detained. No, you're not actually. No. So what kind did I come in here? He didn't. He didn't investigate with them. He immediately told me to go over there and come outside. Or he, he wanted to go and conduct his his business in there. I came out here and I, he didn't like the way I was speaking to him. I did not disrespect him. All of a sudden, he wants my ID. I didn't commit a crime. You can't turn a protected activity into a crime. I came in here in a public building to record the interaction that we had to get some condoms, and that's it. I'm not going to give my ID. This is under threat of arrest. I didn't commit a crime. You got to commit a crime about or has. That's the way the law works. And I'll give him my ID. I have it in my hand, but he doesn't want to stay under threat of arrest. You guys want to he, play this game and go this route? He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to tell you in the words that you want to use. Sir, I did not commit a crime. Recording in a public building is not a crime. Well, it's a county building. Okay, it's a, who owns the who owns the building? Did they ask you to leave? No. Oh come on now, Joey, you're just perpetuating that stereotype that all frauditors are liars. They asked you to leave the building several times, but you refused to do so. I mean. Just take a look at your own video. But of course, you're not going to admit it. And, uh, well, there's a little issue with your uh, channel anyway that we'll get into at the end of this little video right here. So let's carry on, shall we? And even if they did, 
But yeah, they did. Okay, that's all right. No, no, they're public employees. It's a First Amendment right to record a public employee. No, they have and a right to. They have a right to tell you to stop recording. They have a right to tell you. To is leave. it what crime is that? So what crime is that? It's trespassing. No, that's not a crime. You can't did turn. You can't turn recording into a crime. They're public employees. You know Smith versus Cummings. Did they ask you? I'm what? not going to play this game with you. I don't want to. We're going to book game. you. And we're going to put your camera into property because. Under 1324.12, you have an absolutely every you have the obligation to provide your true and lawful name. All right, when I'll give you when, my name. when when an officer I'll give you my name when an officer arrest. is investigating your crime. All right, and it's this officer they called 911 on you. It's not a crime. Sir. They called 911 on you. Okay. So, as a result, that he is here to investigate a crime of either disorderly conduct or trespassing the investigation is going on your refusal to provide your name while he's doing the investigation is a violation Sir, of 1324 he didn't investigate sorry mr legal scholar joey surreal camera but it's not exactly a fourth amendment violation to show your id in fact he's quoting you the uh statute at this moment for that and if it were against the constitution don't you think that the uh Courts would have already taken care of that by now. I mean, they're usually, well, good about that kind of thing once it's pointed out. He went inside and immediately walked us out here and then he asked me for my ID. He didn't even speak to those people. Okay, well, he That's had enough all. information he, based no, he, on the okay. 911 call. Okay, so well, you can believe what you if want he to wants believe, the ID, fine. I'll give him the ID on the threat of arrest. Okay, well, what do you mean under threat of arrest? You're under yeah. arrest for... So Fire I, to ID based on this investigation. Under what crime? That's, 13, you, can't, 24, 12. you can't trespass me in a public building unless I commit a crime. I they, they have I every need, right. That's not the way the right. law works, sir. All right, All right so I'm going to jail? Two. Um, I'm going to determine that. I, I, All right, watch I, I, your I, knee. Are you going to make that mistake? Watch your knee. I'm serious. All right, All right, All right, let's go. All right come on. Do you want to provide your name or not? I said yes if I'm not going to jail. Oh, no, no, no. There's no, there's no ultimate. Okay, Joel Christian Lopez. Watch your knee. Joel Christian Lopez. You guys want my name that bad? You want to violate my rights like that on camera? Go ahead, let's do it. All right. Go yeah. ahead. What's your first name? Joel Christian Lopez. How do you spell your first name? J. J what? O E L. Christian o Lopez. Joel you guys Lopez. just destroyed my rights, dude. That's Hate to be the bearer of bad news, Joey. But if you really want to know who really wrecked your rights or destroyed your life, all you have to do is take a look in a mirror and you will see who the culprit really is. I mean, it's not really that hard to figure out for most of us anyway. Not the way it works. It, uh, it is. No, it's, no, it's not. I'm going to eternal affairs. I'm going to eternal affairs. Go for it, all right? You know, for some reason, you, you guys, for some he, reason, you think you, you can't just go in here and start filming in a, yes, in a, in a, in a public health building? Yes, these no, are public man, employees. They, they have every right to, to uh, Sir, this is this not a. You can't turn that into Joel, a. Crime. I forgot. Uh, your other stuff, real quick. Okay. Does that you look got, normal to you? You got time for this? Does that look normal to you? You got time for this? Does that look normal to you? You have time for this? After you sign your ticket. All right, so what I got to do? Gather your stuff. I'm done. I've been... Come sign your ticket. All right. I told you, man. I'm not on your Sergeant. Do you want your stuff? There's more stuff in there. I don't Sergeant, is this normal to you right here? Come on over here. Is that normal to you right here? Look at my wrist. For the time for the time limit that I've been back there? Look, I'm not seeing an issue there. Come on. No? no? You don't no. see an issue there? No. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, poor baby. Look. You're bleeding? Do yeah. you need medical attention? There's no redness. There's no okay. indentation. No. It's an indentation. You don't think that was a little too tight? Uh, considering like, where, no. I put, where I put your handcuffs? Look, look, look at this. Yeah. Just so. give me my ticket and kick rocks, bro. Come on. Let's go. Dude. Don't touch me like that. I'm not, am I still detained? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let me sign my ticket. to take all your stuff and take you to jail? Here. Nah, I already have my education okay. enough, dude. You guys are tyrants. You guys are a bunch of tyrants, dude. Tyrants. Tyrants that don't know the law, dude. At all. We'll see how far this takes us. I'm serious. What? Go ahead, you can leave. Hey, I appreciate your cooperation. You guys can leave anytime. Thank you, I was talking to you. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're very uneducated. And you just follow his footsteps. Again, thank you for your time tonight. Appreciate your info. You're not welcome. You guys are tyrants, dude. Wait till my lawyer hears about this. Oh, yeah. You're going to really show them with your uh, 
fictional lawsuits, aren't you? Well, Joey, I think YouTube ended up showing you something because I downloaded this video yesterday off of your channel and I was hoping to show it as soon as I got my channel back up and running again after those counter strikes went through. But I ended up watching Frauditor Troll's channel and he showed that your channel was down. Now, I just happened to look over and see that my sock account tab was still open on your channel. And, uh, well, we got this little recording right here. It appears that, well, your channel has been deleted. Oh, Joey, whatever did you do to earn that disgrace? Oh, well, maybe we'll find out one day, but... Who cares? Your channel is gone, but you still have two other channels that you upload to. So see you in the funny papers, bozo. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?